Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today my friend Robert has very kindly lent me the keys to his brand new McLaren 620R to take it for a lap on the Nürburgring. We're going to be taking a look at the new final hardcore run out version of McLaren Sports Series and then go for a drive on the Green Hell. Now a couple of weeks ago, just after he had taken delivery of the car on a very, very wet day here at the Nürburgring, I actually followed him around. He was driving this on the Trofeo our tyres. I was driving in the BMW M8 Competition Schmimobile, a much more appropriate car with four-wheel drive for the conditions. Today is actually the full loop, the N24 loop, Grand Prix track, as well as Nordschleife. But let's have a little look around the car, talk about exactly where this sits and some of the details about it, before we're going to be joined as well by my friend Misha to hop on in and go for a drive, well first on a twisty road and then out on the Nürburgring. There is definitely some confusion over where exactly this car fits in the McLaren lineup. The 620R is a track-focused version of the Sport Series, but you're probably thinking there has already been one of those in the form of the 600LT and the 600LT Spider. But this is much more focused. It's derived from the 570S GT4 race car, which of course is not road legal. That means it has things like a gigantic fixed wing at the rear and around at the front, the aero S-ducts that come in through the nose. We'll actually take a look at those because the pipework inside is really quite nice to look at too. So it's a limited run model, officially 350 cars. I think they're going to be making fewer than that due to production capacities considering this year and the production before the next generation of the Sport Series arrives. It has things like adjustable coilovers with 32 different damper settings that you can manually configure to set it up perfectly. This being Robert's car that he drives here at the Nürburgring means that's exactly what it's going to be doing. Inside the car, if I just grab the key, unlock it, pop open the driver's door. It is also a very focused place because we have the bucket seats from the McLaren Senna. We have the harnesses around back. You've got the half roll cage, the carbon fiber obviously of the roof snorkel as well. So expecting to hear some pretty cool noises from overhead and a carbon backboard, all basically chasing being very lightweight. Now it's got the 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V8. In this car, as the name suggests, 620 horsepower. So 20 horsepower more than the 600 LT. Also the same torque as that car, 620 Newton meters as well. It is a very quick machine. Top speed is 200 miles an hour, slightly slower than the LT because a little bit more drag having the extra depth downforce that comes from the fixed rear wing and the aero parts. Also new wheels specific to the car. So it's a slightly funny one because visually it's more like a hardcore 570S as opposed to a 600LT. And again, as I said, having two hardcore models in the lineup is an interesting choice overall as well. But this, the 620R, has been described, as I said, as a baby Senna because it is so much set up to be driven to a racetrack and then enjoyed on the circuit. Things like the adjustable coilovers. You can also get slicks in the same fitment to swap straight on. You have all of the aero. I'm going to show you these vents, which are slightly reminiscent of the ones on the front of a P1. If we just press and hold the button on the key, the bonnet will pop open which is carbon fiber and you can see exactly how this works the airflow comes in through the front bumper here is where it pushes down the nose of the car and then exits out the top and you can see the exposed carbon of the bonnet in fact a lot of the car is carbon fiber as you can imagine to keep the weight down to 1282 kilos you can also double press if you want to pop open the door it has soft close as well but i'm going to climb on in here where we've also got some other nice weight saving features grab handle for example the pouches for the door pockets all lighter than traditionally in the sport series inside here we've got a nice picture of the 620r start button in the center let's fire it up oh that sounds good that sounds better than the normal sport series we've got 430 kilometers on the clock but it's already done quite a few laps of the ring we will have tire pressure lights because well we've deflated them we'll need to get some heat into them in a moment but um yeah we should use this to do it properly pull the door down and um, we'll be joined by Misha in a moment and head straight out. It is quickly getting towards the end of the day so I'm going to pick up Misha on our way over towards the Tourist and Farton entrance. So I tell you what, the first thing I notice is how much noise you can hear through the snorkel. The air intake of course for cooling of the engine. So I'm in normal, normal, regular standard driving modes at the moment. Nothing changed or set up. Obviously, we will quickly press Active Dynamics, where at the moment I've then got it in Sport and Sport, and you can press ESC off once to go into Dynamic mode, just like in other McLaren since the 675 LT, actually. And obviously, the feel is immediately very familiar, other than the sound you get through the snorkel. That's really cool. We've got the aircon blowing quite strong at the moment. I guess we'll turn that down. You can opt to have the car without aircon, without sound system. 
with you know all the stripped out style that you might expect in a full racer. But this is this is feeling good already. We've got the Trofeo Rs, so we will need to warm those up slightly before we can go full on. And obviously we could pop it up as well into track and track mode. We'll do that shortly. So I think step one is actually going to be to go straight onto the Nordschleifer itself, actually onto the Grand Prix Strecca technically, um, because of time being quite short on us today. This is my small little road drive where, to be honest, as it's set up at the moment, and obviously these are early days, but Robert's done the PPF already to protect the paintwork and, and a few other bits and pieces. Here it rides perfectly decently, which has got a long load of traffic between here and getting down to the front and out onto the ring. It's a busy, 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 busy day, unsurprisingly. Nice weather, full layout, N24 style. Don't often get to do this. And um, yeah, this should be should be quite fun. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for the opportunity to, to go drive a 620R for the first time on the Nürburgring. It would appear that I have found my victim for the day. So now I've got to find the unlock button that is there. Can you open the door? There Hello. we go. Welcome. Thank you. You've now got some harnesses to dig into your back and ah, you'll be fine. All sorts of uncomfortable. We've, hey. we've done this before. <laughs> You've got a couple of minutes before we're down at the front. It is manic afternoon, like rush. Well, we've got the usual mix of cars. 718 GT4 right in front of us, yeah, which is that's, nice. That's nice. I probably could have helped a little bit with preparing that. <laughs> No, that would be boring. Yeah, it if would you make it easy, it's boring. Exactly. It has to be an awkward challenge that you've got like two minutes or whatever it is, three minutes to get your belts and buckles done up. I mean, I've done some endurance racing where it is important, but then That's again, the like, side. like you said, <laughs> your driver before entering the pits, he would prepare the belts for you a bit. Yeah. So, well, other than that. You've got a useless driver today. Oh. Well, let's not say it too loud, but. <laughs> <laughs> I will add a disclaimer at this point that we have basically hijacked Robert's 620R here and obviously given it's my first drive in someone else's very expensive, highly limited edition, rare, collectible, special car, I'm going to take it a little bit carefully. Yeah, and basically you were just driving to the roundabout to pick me up to get me a lift back, right? And then we're like, yeah. oh, we're going to go, they're blocking the traffic, so there's only one way you can go. So we have to do a lap. And exactly. Then we get that back. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, the cool. traffic is so bad on the public road that you're faster going around the track. <laughs> <going>. <laughs> yes. Well, that's what the, that's the whole point of a toll road, right? Exactly. Toll road, small charge, but you know you get to you get to enjoy the drive. In this case, you get to really enjoy the drive and make it round. Yeah. So I tell you what's cool in here. When you go into neutral, the noise of the. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Have you been in this car already? I've been it on public road, so it's my first track experience with you, so it's pretty funny actually. Okay, so I'm kind of stealing that thunder from Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Taking you, you through. <laughs> That's quite funny. So we've got 432 kilometers on the clock, and I bet about 400 of those are Nürburgring laps. Yeah, all of it. That's amazing. Pretty much. Well, yeah, it went to uh, to the wrap shop to get the PPF on them, but yeah. that's it. Everything else is just from the track to the track and on the track. Are you nervous? I am a little bit nervous. <laughs> First time I've ever driven the GP track in a car that wasn't mine. Oh. Actually, I say GP track because of course we've got the N24 layout, the full loop. <laughs> First few corners of Nordschleife, then onto GP Strecker. Yep. Everybody ahead is off. We've got the chicanes to dodge through. And, and then there when we, go. we are out, foot down, traction limited for a second. Are ready? 
traffic jam into a major traffic jam, so big time brake cooling. Yep. We'll just take it easy as we come towards the exit of the Nordschleife. Well, it has to be said that I felt really comfortable in here. And it has to be said, when are you and I going to be racing? Because now you cannot have any excuse, I don't know the track that well. Yeah, I feel like I know it a bit better now than I did in, yeah. the, in the laps in the early days. <laughs> yeah. But this, this is really cool. Very, I want one now, you know? Yeah. And I want to at least bring my 675LT back here. Yeah. Do some laps with that. I think that would be really fun. That car deserves some outings. Definitely. You did some laps already with it, but not... No, they, they were like... They top-down laps, I think. <laughs> yeah, way back. Yeah. I mean, that was like when I had done maybe 20 laps here. Yeah. And now I'm at... 200? No, 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 nothing like that. <laughs> nothing like that. Not even at 100 yet. But okay. enough that now at least I know my left to right. Whereas before I didn't. And, you know, it's a, it's a learning thing. And, right? and you're confident enough to overtake people in corners. Yes. Even, so that's... Yeah. That's very... That, that's a very big skill. Like, to have that level of confidence, but still not to try to push it beyond safety limits, so to, so to say. You have very good safety margin. Yeah, I, like it. I think it's important, especially when you're driving cars of this value, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, you've got to be careful, you've got to be sensible. Yeah. And I hope uh, I hope Robert was happy with the, uh, with the drive, when oh. he uh, maybe spectates this, yeah, yeah, if yeah. he's kind enough to watch the video. No, he, he will, he will. I'm sure he will. But yeah, I love it. I love the sounds. Yeah, very good sounds, the, the air intake. The sound, you don't get so much, so the Santa has a snorkel, but you don't hear yeah. that much. You don't hear nothing like that. Mm. This is just constant, like. Yeah, it's the proper head. LT vibe. Yeah. So what else do we have in here? Play with stuff. We've got stop start. If you want it on the Nurburgring, we've got launch control. We can. We uh, have Bowers and Wilkins sound we system. We have the Bowers and Wilkins sound that's, system. Uh, Robert absolutely loves. I, I heard about this. <laughs> <laughs> Quick disclaimer. I don't think Robert wanted to have Bowers and Wilkins in his no, car. No, exactly. Especially <laughs> with this tweeter here. That's kind of. Yeah. He, he wanted a spec without and. Uh, I think by default it's included. You have to opt to have it removed, and there was some conf confusion. It, it was the car that was just available at yeah. the early stage, without too, too much of a waiting time. And then like, okay, fine, done, ready done. to enjoy. And well, I've enjoyed it. So me too. We've now got 458 kilometers. This McLaren is feeling very Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> and we are back to base where I seem to be taking over the car park as best as I can at the moment. <laughs> I've got both the Senna and the Ford GT just casually chilling right in front of us. We will take this down and prep it to be parked back up, so deflate tires, or sorry, reinflate tires. Reinflate I tires. Say. We should get that right, we don't want to take any more air out of them. And refill the car. <laughs> but that was, uh, that was good fun. Thank you very much. I got to run to my next lap. So Enjoy. See you later. See you. Go, 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 go. Unbuckling is faster than buckling. Yes, so. true. Just throw them all off. Door open, neutral, not selected. Yes. Yeah, and also watch out with this scratching all the carbon Yeah, yeah, parts. I know that from the center. Yeah. All the buckles everywhere. That's why you should PP up the inside as well. Yeah. <laughs> PPF everything. Bye -bye. See you later. Right. Well, that was really, 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 really good fun. Um, I think the car is all good to be. Switched off, temps are, are decent. Nice. From when the 620R launched up until today, like many others, I was a bit confused about where exactly this car would sit. But I tell you what, after having driven it on a place like the Nürburgring, and you have to remember the tarmac on the Nordschleife is exceptionally bumpy, it handled it so well. Now I'm very familiar with driving McLarens on racetracks between the cars that I've owned and many of the press events and other cars that I've driven, but this was so suited to the Nordschleife that I can completely see why Robert has been raving about driving it, just going lap after lap and wanting to enjoy it, because it's a fantastic driving experience in this environment. Yes, it's noisy, yes, it's making all of those vibrations and sounds and things, but that's what it's supposed to be, a road-going derivative of a GT4 race car, and I think that's as close as I've experienced in that category, so to speak. You know, going from GT4s as McLaren run the 570Ss, but with even more power, not having to stick to all the regulations up to 620 nice number plate that robert's got there going on appropriate for this car obviously you have the aero as per the sport series these side vents and through towards the cooling you've got the added louvers here that reduce the swelling air in the front wheel arches and then that scoop and the airflow that comes through it that you hear 
completely continuously while you're driving sounds magnificent. The car in this spec wouldn't necessarily be my first choice. I like bright colors. Obviously this black, 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 everything is very, very uh, stealthy, subtle look. But to me, the drive, it's all about the drive and it does such a good job of that. I'm actually just gonna come around and have a quick look at the passenger side of the cabin. Pop open the doors, obviously we've got the carbon sills because it's built around the carbon fiber uh, cell, the cage, the monocoque you have underneath, not the full cage, sorry, it's just the um, lower sections, unlike say the center, for example. Inside here, the infotainment in the center where you have your controls, the additional controls right down here where you can do active, enable the active dynamics, traction, manual for the gearbox launch and auto stop start and your drive neutral reverse buttons on it and lock as well obviously you lose a little bit of practicality in terms of not having the rear parcel shelf your luggage but no bad thing if you're going to be driving it on the ring and also you'll spot the camera up there it's got the built-in track telemetry pack which saves all of your data if you're out on a track day for example or uh, on a proper racing circuit as opposed to the public toll roads of the Nordschleife during the tourist and Fahrten sections. I think they'll probably Probably also be yeah that's nicely integrated camera right here at the front end and there'll be another one around towards the back just looking at the cooling that we have obviously to keep everything in check so I'd just like to say again a big thank you to Robert for the opportunity today to take the key go and have a drive and experience the 620R in of all places the Nürburgring what a drive thanks as well to Misha for joining I've had a lot of fun I hope you've enjoyed the video discovering about this new model that's been introduced. For now though, that is all. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.